Hello there. If you own a Honda CRV, I believe the years are between 2012 and 2016, which I believe, if I remember correctly, is their uh, fourth generation. Some people, including myself, experience vibration in the vehicle when you come to a stoplight or say you have to stop on the interstate because of, uh, of an interstate jam. I've Currently, I'm stopped in my driveway to, to show you four ways that I've read a line to resolve the issue while sitting in your driver's seat. And I'm gonna explain first why this is happening. If you see the RPMs, they're, they could be anywhere between say six and 800 RPMs instead of a full thousand RPMs. I've read from other people, I don't know this to be a fact, but what I've read is Honda has the RPM set too low at, uh, when you're at this stage and they're going to keep it that way because apparently it's better for their fuel economy and their fuel economy listing. Now, I'm not saying that's the case. That's just what I've read from other people. I'm just pointing that out. But from the same people, I've been told four solutions to resolve the issue while you are in this state. And they're kind of comical, but you're just, you, you can do it yourself. The first and the easiest is, believe it or not, even though it's daytime, Turn on your headlights. Watch what happens to the RPM. It takes a moment. It goes up. It goes up a little bit, but you're drawing more power and you're forcing the car to idle higher. It takes a second or so, but then the idling goes away. Now I'm going to turn off the lights. And it does go down a little bit and I can feel the car vibrating again. So if you leave your headlights on during the daytime, this shouldn't be an issue. That's kind of ridiculous, but it's true. Second is, it's not going to help you in the wintertime with the heat, but if you've got, it's warm, turn on your AC. And the car has stopped vibrating. It's gone up enough. The RPMs have gone up enough to the point that it's not vibrating anymore like it did. There are two other solutions. Take your steering wheel and turn it slightly. It go, the RPMs go up, you're drawing power, you're forcing power to the power steering unit, which takes more power, which means that it's going to kick up the RPMs and the vibration can go away. Now you just have to remember to straighten the car out before you start driving, otherwise you're starting to take a turn once you come off the light. But that does get rid of it. And the fourth, throw your car in a neutral. The RPMs are, are gonna stay generally the same, but since your car is not in gear, you're not gonna vibrate. Just remember to do this, and I'm guilty of this too. You got a stoplight, you got your car in neutral, then you put your foot on the gas, your car's not going, but your engine's rubbing up. You gotta remember, like I just did here, throw it into gear. So those are four ways you can do it while sitting in your car. And the easiest and the most mindless is turn on your headlights. Ridiculous, but it works. Just remember, once you're done with the day and you get out of the car to turn the headlights off or you can drain your battery. I hope this helps somebody. Thanks for watching.